What's up? Turtle here coming at you with another Pokemon video. Today we have a mixed bag of we're going to do an opening but we just have a couple things for mail day. As you can see we have a couple of fake collides, ETBs, nothing special but I thought it was cool. We picked this up off of Woot.com and just $20 a pop, you know, is it going to be expensive? Probably not but hey, half off we'll take it. And we're actually going to show off a collection that we just finished off. I kind of mentioned this a while back that oh, we're going to do this video soon. But then we're going to open up a, another Rebel Clash ETB. Uh, our last booster box was really disappointing. Uh, we, we whiffed on the secret and we didn't hit any of the regulars that we were looking for. So we're going to take another pass at some more Rebel Clash packs. But let's start with this. Um, I guess it's a mail day. We did pick these all up on the secondary market and it is the Legends. Uh, it was a very interesting era in Pokemon that I wasn't in the hobby, but basically you take two cards to combine into like, it's almost like tag teams, but with more work. You actually needed to find both cards to play it. And so we finally did complete it and they are in penny sleeves. You know, I think I will submit them to PSA. My guess is most of these are like seven or eight, but to have a, like, let's say best case scenario, eight um, master set of the legends, I'll be very happy with. And you know, these cards are not that expensive. Picked them all of up, basically all of them up on TCG player. So we're gonna start with Lugia. So I really like the art behind these. Let's see, who is the artist? Shinji Higuchi. Uh, I wouldn't mind if they did something again like this. I feel like it's a tall task, but I would prefer it if both halves of the card are equally desirable. So if we take this one, you know, the bottom half has Lugia's face. This just has its tail than the actual information. The way they did the text all scattered like that, it's not too bad, but I wouldn't suggest redoing that. Ho-Oh, we kind of, this is an okay balance because on the bottom has all the important information, but the top has, you know, I would say as far as the art goes, the top is much better. Sorry for the glare, maybe I should do these unsleeved. And then we have some of the combos. The legendary, I believe they're cats, we'll go with legendary dogs. Entei and, Entei and Raikou. Uh, this one's not bad as far as the separation. You know, it feels like both of these are necessary to see. Uh, you see a little bit of Raikou, not a whole lot, but then the bottom half has Entei's claws and then the information down there as well. I would say this is one of the better ones as far as making both cards pretty cool without just having the top be one Pokemon and the bottom be another one. And this is the first example of that and I think basically the rest are like that. Where the top half basically has Raikou and then the bottom half has Suicune. And you know, yeah, the top, top has like his hair or whatever that ribbon thing is. And then there's no traces of Raikou on the bottom picture. So like, you know, I'm not as big a fan of that. It's a tall order again. I'm not sure how you do that. This one, you know, it's, yes, the top doesn't have the words or like the information about the text, but the bottom half has nothing much as far as the picture goes. Very little Suicune and it just has Entei's like feet in his chest, I guess. But uh, either way, we'll go back to like the picture. I absolutely love the picture. Uh, I think it's a great piece of art and that's kind of like why I wanted to pick them up. Kyogre and Groudon, straight up, top half is Kyogre, <laughs> bottom half is Groudon. But either way, this is another cool one. And this is a really nice Rayquaza and a Deoxys. Um, you know, it's a little bit more mixed, but for the most part, Rayquaza on top, Deoxys on the bottom half. Same thing here, Darkrai and Cresselia. Big fan of Darkrai, Cresselia doesn't do much a whole, whole lot for me. Maybe I don't know much about the the lore behind Cresselia, but I do I do really like the, the Darkrai art. That is a cool, has a very Grim Reaper vibe going on. And then the last one is Palkia and Dialga. I'm not sure if we could say these are the OG tag teams, but it, it obviously is very uh, reminiscent of that tag team mechanic. Oh, uh, actually this one's, no, this one falls under the category of the Pokemon on the top, and then yes, Dialga, the rest of Dialga's body, but his head is up there, and then the information on the attack. So if they were to do, I don't know, I think it's a hard thing to mix playability and you know, collectability, but if they could somehow find a way to, you know, have two cards equal one Pokemon and have it mix well with the competitive side of things and a great collector's piece, I'd be all for that and I absolutely love these art. So, really happy to pick these up and we'll send those off to PSA at some point to get them graded. We'll move these out of the way and get into this Rebel Clash ETB. Alright, so 
I feel like the bar is pretty low to be honest this opening could be better than our other entire booster box so I have high hopes here let's go for a boss's order and I don't know like a dragapult even oh wow that opened really easily almost no, we'll say that was suspiciously easy to open obviously it was sealed so don't think there was anything suspicious going on with or any tampering that opened up way too easily all right pack number one biggest thing we're looking for are those bosses orders horror we are pretty good at getting horror energies that's about it we, we got the horror the energy for the dragapult but not the actual dragapults but here we go into our first pack. Hope everyone's having a good day. And once again, I want to thank everyone for the support on the channel. Things have been uh, kind of like uptrending lately. I'm not sure if it's just because a lot of people... Okay, that is like straight up opened already. Not sure what the chances are. The glue just dried out and opened. I will say there's no evidence of it being re-glued. Just feels like the glue was not very well done to begin with. If we get no pulls, maybe that's a little something to uh, shine the light on. But I kind of doubt that that will be the case. Let's get into pack number two. But yes, I have been hinting at some kind of 1000 sub celebration in the new future. And we will get that underway. Alright, let's see. We got Apollon. A Galar Mine Reverse. That's a pretty cool card. And, okay, we got a hit. Cooper Raja. ETBs, sometimes you can get completely shut out. Cooper Raja V, I believe we pulled a few of these. So, but we will take that, our first hit. Oh my gosh. Like, I think this is just the glue just dried because it's, it seems more on this side. And then when you do open it, it just cleanly opens up. I think if it was resealed, you could have like glue residue. So, I'm not... Sure, I haven't opened up too many ETBs. I'm not sure how common that is, but definitely a little suspicious, not gonna lie. I'm not worried about it for with where we pick up these our, our products, but strange nonetheless. Alright, let's see. Roly Coley, Applin, Drakloak, and a Zamazenta. Let's see about this one. Yeah, same thing, just very light on the glue. We did get one hit, nothing too exciting. Alright. Skunk Tank and a Grim Snarl. I think some people said they're excited about the Grim Snarl that's still coming. Grim Snarl V. Alright, so this one actually is <laughs> sealed all the way. Maybe we shouldn't. You know, celebrate that, but uh. Actually, no, we can make this more dramatic. Oh my gosh. Are these things resealed? Resealed ETB? Dan! <laughs> Actually, there's like, um. A card coming up that just got announced on Poke Beach where you can force your opponent to discard down to four cards. And maybe that's where Dan comes into play. You play Dan, maybe you get to draw four cards, which is nice. Maybe your opponent draws four cards, nice, but it's fine because you're going to mill them down to four anyway. <laughs> that's not going to be a thing. But hey, maybe that's where Dan can finally maybe get some action. Although I doubt it. Caterpie, a capture energy reverse. I bet there'll be a secret rare down the line. Not a big fan of how they do that, but actually this Ru Runergus is pretty cool too. With that spreading spike. Reminds me of Spirit Tomb. Okay, now the packs are fully sealed, but super easy to open. Very suspicious, huh? Okay, can we do better than a Cooper Roger Turf Field? Very nice. Stuffle? Coughing? Then a Cramorant. Alright, no scoop of nets, no secret rares, only one ultra rare, and it's just a Cooperaja. Hmm, very suspicious. Alright, two packs remaining. Come on, give us something good. Another capture energy. Relith, Creepy, Snover. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you all, everybody, for the support on the channel. Uh, yeah, if you do want to support the channel beyond just subbing and liking, we do we did start a Patreon, and obviously you can 
join us on our Twitch streams and stuff like that. All right, last pack. Turns out this was not a great ETB. Maybe it was tampered with, although probably not. Speed energy, best uncommon? Nah, maybe scuba net's the best uncommon, but then maybe the speed energy. Dreepy, Magmar, Yam Mask, Surskit, Wingle, and then just a Colossal. So pretty much a letdown on the ETB. We did get this Cooperaja, but for me, the main part of this video were these Legends cards. I just think they're really cool. And uh, yeah, I kind of hope they do something creative like that. I think it's a tall order, but you know, I think one thing that'd be cool is like you have these, the tag teams, I'm thinking like the Reshiram as the best example of like, wow, have like an awesome background too with N in there. Um, the Reshizar alternate art also comes to mind. Uh, Mewtwo Mew alternate art, but uh, anyway, I digress. So that's gonna be it for me today. As always guys, thanks for watching. I'm Juan Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.